another iPhone release, another potential upgrade. If you have an iPhone 15, you might be wondering if it's worth swapping for the new iPhone 16. And if you have an older or non-Apple device, you may be debating whether to get last year's iPhone at a discount or pay full price for this year's model. Here's a comparison of the key specs on the baseline iPhone 15 and iPhone 16 to help with your decision making. The iPhone 16 starts at $799 and is available at the Apple Store, whereas the iPhone 15 starts at $699. Apple's new upgrade for the iPhone 16 line is a brand new hardware button. The new camera control button is a capacitive area which allows you to launch the camera app and swipe over it to zoom in and out quickly and easily. Apple has also added the action button to the full iPhone 16. Apple iPhone 16 base models will feature a vertical camera arrangement instead of a diagonal camera arrangement like the iPhone 15. But both phone features a 48 megapixel wide and 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. iPhone 16 can take in more light, has a wider aperture and features autofocus for macro shots. Both phones have a 12 megapixel front facing camera. The iPhone 15 and 16 both have 6.1 inch OLED displays with a 60 hertz refresh rate with peak brightness reaching 2000 nits. Both have a 460 ppi pixel density. The iPhone 15 has the A16 Bionic chip with 6GB RAM. The iPhone 16 sports the new A18 chip with 8GB RAM. This new chipset is also the first built from the ground up about AI optimizations. Apple missed the AI hype train last year, but it's fully invested in this year. The iPhone 16 to get a 3561 milliamp hours battery, up from a 3349 milliamp hours battery size on the iPhone 15, you charge with MagSafe, which now supports 25 watt, up from 15W before. Unfortunately, wired charging speeds seem to remain the same at 20 watt. So, is the iPhone 16 a good upgrade? Compared to the iPhone 15, it's not a huge upgrade. The two new buttons, the more vibrant colors, the faster wireless charging, we don't see an immediate need for upgrade if you have the iPhone 15. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.